oxidation reduction reaction and electrochemical cell are topics in the subject of electrochemistry in the experiment students will know the technical term of this subject and to get idea how to measure the electromotive force therefore the aim in this experiment are to understand oxidation reaction reduction reaction redox reaction it is also understand what different between oxidizing agent and reducing agent to measure electromotive force or emf of the electrochemical cell next aim is what the difference between effect of concentration and concentration cell and finally to calculate or estimate the emf from nernst equation a dry battery is an example of electrochemical cell. This is because in the battery, there are chemicals and electrodes. The plus terminal or cathode terminal is made from graphite, and the minus terminal is made from zinc. After connection, the reaction between zinc and manganese dioxide takes place, causing electron flow. In this experiment, students should understand more about what is the cathode, anode, oxidizing agent, and reducing agent. Oxidation reduction reaction or redox reaction is a chemical reaction in which the oxidation number of molecules, atoms, or ions change by gaining or losing electrons. For example, when a zinc strip is immersed into a copper solution and let the reaction proceed, the deposition of copper will be observed. If it takes longer, the copper will separate from the zinc strip. From this experiment, equation can be written starting with zinc solid. React with copper ion to get zinc ion and copper solid. It can be seen that the oxidation of zinc changes from 0 to plus 2. And oxidation number of copper changes from plus 2 to 0. Hence, the redox reaction can be consists of two half cells. Oxidation half cell of zinc. Why it is oxidation reaction? This is because zinc loses its electron and the oxidation number changes from 0 to plus 2. Therefore, the oxidation reaction means the reaction where starting materials increase its oxidation number. The second reaction is reduction reaction. In this case, oxidation number of copper decrease from plus 2 to 0 due to gaining electron. When these two reactions are combined, electron are crossed out and redox reaction can be obtained. Now, look closely at the redox reaction. Zinc strip reduces the oxidation number of copper. So, zinc is called reducing agent. On the other hand, copper increase zinc oxidation number so copper ion is called oxidizing agent hence do not confuse between oxidation reaction and reducing agent and also reduction reaction and oxidizing agent with oxidizing agent and reducing agent comes to aim in section 1 to study the reactivity of metal and ions in terms of oxidizing agent and reducing agent. Three metal strips, copper, lead and zinc are used. Drop copper ions from one molar copper sulfate, lead ion from one molar red nitrate, zinc ion from one molar zinc sulfate, 10 drop each Clean all metal strip with sandpaper to remove oxide or sunfire film on the surface of the metal. Do not scratch the sandpaper on the lab bench. Place the metal strip into the solution. After 30 seconds, record the observation. The observation can be color change, deposition, or gas formation. 
For example, place zinc strip into the copper solution. After 30 seconds, record the observation. Wash zinc strip with tap water and dry before doing other experiments. Repeat the reaction by pressing copper strip into lead ion and zinc ion and lead strip into copper ion and zinc ion. From the observation, if nothing happened, write down no change in the observation column and write no reaction in the redox equation. If placing zinc into the copper solution, the observed will be copper deposition. The redox reaction can be zinc strip react with copper ions to get zinc ion and copper solid. With six experiments, order of reducing agent of metal and order of oxidizing agent of ion are reported. Experiment in section 1. Transferring of electron between zinc strip and copper ion is not visible because both zinc and copper ion are directly contact in the same container. In order to observe the transferring of electrons, two half cells are separated. In the half cell on the left, called zinc half cell, consists of zinc strip immersed in the zinc solution. And the half cell on the right is called copper half cell where copper strip is immersed into the copper solution. When zinc and copper electrode are connected with electrical wire, whereas the two solutions are linked with a salt bridge, the reaction occurs obtaining electricity. To get the electromotive force from this chemical reaction, the electrodes are connected with a multimeter. Because this reaction takes place spontaneously, so the cell is called galvanic cell. Before going to measure the electromotive force or EMF of galvanic cell, students need to know how to read and use the multimeter. Multimeter is a device to measure electrical data like voltmeter, ammeter, and ohmmeter. Hence, from the left, to the right below is for measuring current and resistance. Up top is used to measure AC voltage and DC voltage. In this experiment, DC voltage is used. The measuring range of the measurement starts from 1000 to 0.1 of the full scale. The scale being read is on DC volt. The full scale can be maximum at 10, 50, and 250. For example, if the scale is right here, and the measuring range is 250, so the EMF is 150 volts is recorded. If the measuring range is 50, it means that the full scale is 50. Hence, the reading scale is 30 volts. When the range is in 10, meaning that the full scale is 10, so we get the EMF of 6 volts. What happened with other measuring scale like 1000, 0.5 and 0.1? For example, if measuring in 1000, it is better to look at the full scale of 10. The actual voltage is the number times with 100, so it's 600 volts. If the measuring is 0.5, can be look at the scale of 50. After reading, so we times with 0 0.01 to get 0.3 volts. Finally, after reading, do not forget to turn the selector knob to off to maintain the battery in the multimeter. Section 2 is aimed to measure the electromotive force of the cell 
from half cell of copper copper ion with zinc zinc ion zinc zinc ion with lead lead ion and lead lead ion with copper copper ion all solutions is one molar so this electromotive force is a standard emf three half cell are prepared by putting the metal strip into its solution make sure all solution is one molar cell bridge modified by using filter paper wet with potassium nitrate solution and a multimeter set are prepared Construct galvanic cell from the half cell of copper and zinc by plug a red test plate into a positive jack and black goes to the negative jack. Connect the end of test plate with tracer wire, which is connected to electrodes. Prepare a salt bridge by choking the paper strip in one molar potassium nitrate. Press the salt bridge across the two half cells. Make sure both ends of the paper strip are immersed in the solution. Turn the selector knob from 1000 down step by step until the meter scale moves to the right about half of the full scale. Record the voltage according to the selector knob. If the negative voltage is displayed, switch the terminal by turn off the multimeter Discard the salt bridge, then unconnect the electrodes. Switch the solution, then reconnect the electrode with twister wire. Then place the salt bridge across the two half cells. Start turning the selector knob until voltage can be read. Please note that not only voltage is recorded, but electrode terminal are also recorded in order to conclude that which half cell are oxidation or reduction reaction. For example, if zinc strip is connected with minus terminal, it means electron move out from the zinc electrode. It can be concluded that oxidation reaction takes place at the zinc half cell or anode terminal. Copper electrode gain electron. So it is reduction reaction or cathode terminal. Repeat the galvanic cell of copper copper ion with lead lead ion and zinc zinc ion with lead lead ion. Keep in mind, if student allow the reaction take place, the solution concentration will be changed, causing EMF change. Moreover, zinc electrode will be corroded and more copper deposit on the copper electrode. To remove this problem, once each experiment finished, cut off the circuit by discard the salt bridge. Section 3. Effect of zinc concentration on EMF. This experiment half cell of copper with concentration of 1 molar connects with half cell of zinc with a concentration 1 molar, 0.1 molar and 0.01 molar and compare the EMF from the experiment reminder the cell of 1 molar and 1 molar can be get from section 2 section 4 Concentration cell is a cell having same electrode and solution, but the solution exhibits different in concentration. Hence, the electromotive force drives from the different in concentration. In this experiment, the EMF cell are from zinc at the concentration of one molar and 0.1 molar, and zinc one molar with 0.01 molar. Now, student can guess which cell gain more EMF and why. Our solution are heavy metal solution. Please dispose them in the waste container.
calculation. In section 2, electromotive force of each cell are investigated. Section 3, only galvanic cell of copper, copper ion and zinc, zinc ion are investigated to find the effect of concentration of zinc on EMF. Finally, section 4, zinc concentration is investigated. In calculation of EMF, only one question is used. It is Nernst equation, where EMF cell or E cell is equal to E cell as standard or E0 cell minus with factor of concentration. So, if all concentration are one molar, the product will be one and reactant is one molar. Log one is zero. So, the term of the Nernst equation will reduce to E cell is equal E0 cell or E standard. E0 cell can be calculated from standard reduction potential of the two half cells using this equation, where E cathode is the reduction potential of the reduction half cell, and E anode is reduction potential of the oxidation half cell. Now, what is the reduction potential? Standard reduction potential is the value of EMF of the reduction half cell. The value here shows the trend of gaining electron or reduction reaction or oxidizing agent. The reduction potential of copper ions is the highest, meaning that copper ions prefer to gain electron, or it is the strongest of oxidizing agent. On the other hand, zinc prefer to lose electron, so it is strongest reducing agent. If galvanic cell of copper and zinc is concerned, from the reduction potential, Copper half cell prefer to gain electron, so it is cathode terminal, and zinc will be anode. Replace the reduction potential in this equation, so we get plus 0 0.34 minus with minus 0 0.76, so it becomes volt. The EMF force of copper zinc cell is 1.1 volts. Now, look at the zinc red cell. From the standard reduction, it can be concluded that half cell of lead is cathode, and this one is anode. So, we replace with the Nernst equation to get minus 0, 1, 2, 6, minus, minus 0, 76 volts. So, the result of this cell is the EMF of 0 0.634. What happened with concentration of the cell change? In section 2, the E cell as standard is 1.1 volts, and N is the mole of electron, it is 2. What is the concentration of product and reactant? We have to look at the redox reaction. Therefore, zinc ion is product, and copper ion is reactant. So, Nernst equation will change from this to this one. Zinc concentration is right here, and copper concentration is one molar. So, the cell at different concentration can be calculated. Note that concentration on oxidation side is a product. Section 4, concentration cell. Due to it is the same half cell, so E0 cell, it can be zero. The Nernst equation reduced to this equation. From this equation, we get one problem again, what is the product and what is the concentration of reactant. Using the principal rule of nature in that the electron transfer from low concentration to high concentration. This means that the oxidation reaction will take place at the low concentration and reduction at the high concentration. 
adding oxidation and reduction to get the redox reaction. So the redox reaction will start from zinc at high concentration flow to zinc low concentration. Hence the product is the zinc at low concentration and reactant is zinc at high concentration. Nernst equation will again reduce to this equation where C1 is 0.1 molar or 0 0.01 molar. Finally, comparing the EMF from experimental and theory, getting relative error. The theory is calculated from Nernst equation. For example, in the copper zinc cell, from the Nernst equation is 1.1 volts. If in the experiment we get 1.2 volts, so the relative error is absolute R is 1.1 minus 1.2 divided by 1.1 times 100. So we get about 9%. Do not hesitate to ask questions.